great question here about time management is how much time should you allocate for each task or each project? Now, of course, it's impossible for me to answer how much time you should allocate for your task or projects because every task or project has a different time. However, here's a couple of tips about it that I wanna share is one is that, um, you know, there, well, number one, I, I wanna suggest that you should time yourself. Okay, so if you've never done a task or project before, you will not know how long it'll take you, right? And of course, a project, let's get clear, a project is something with multiple tasks. Uh, that's the sort of the getting things done GTD definition. A project is something you do that has multiple steps, multiple tasks. A task is basically one very digestible and doable chunk that is usually takes a few minutes to maybe 15 or 30 minutes. If something takes longer than that, it's probably a project that has multiple tasks within it. How long each task and each pro how long, how many tasks or steps each project has, you don't know until you do it the first, second, or third time and you start writing what I call a hat manual, meaning next time you put on that hat for that role, you have a manual for, okay, for this project, these are the 10 steps or 10 tasks for this project to be complete. You don't know how many steps until you do the project once or twice and you start writing it down. Step one was this, step two was this, step three was now I'm clear. Next time I do the same project, I have the manual or the checklist for, for it, okay? But how long does each task take? You have no idea until you time yourself the first time you're doing it and the second time you're doing it. You need to come to an average. So, okay, let's say I'm writing a blog post and my first task is brainstorming the ideas. Well, now there are certain tasks or activities that have an unlimited time, right? Brainstorming could take me five years or it could take me five minutes. So if it's that kind of a task, you simply have to set what I call a temporary constraint on yourself to say, well, I don't know. The brainstorming could take as long as I want go, the whole day. So I'm gonna set a timer for myself and that's the next tip. Use a timer and say, well, what's reasonable for this task? I'm gonna give myself uh, five minutes maybe too stressful for me. So I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes or 25 minutes to brain to, for this task and this, this task. I'm just, you know, what's reasonable for me? That won't stress myself out too much. There is something called productivity stamina, which is you build stamina over time the more you do a particular task. So right now, brainstorming for five minutes is too stressful for you. You don't have the stamina for that. You need to give yourself 25 minutes to brainstorm. That's spacious enough to calm yourself to do that task. But over time, as you, as you, as you get really good at brainstorming, you may realize, Okay, I used to do 25 minutes. Now I can do it for 20 minutes or 15 minutes and still feel satisfied. So I feel like I got something done. It doesn't stress myself too much. And so over time, you build up your productivity stamina where you can do tasks for shorter and shorter time, where in the past it would stress you out. Now you can really get it done and feel like you can move on to the next task. So that's how you do it. That you have to time yourself. You use timer. So I'm gonna try 15 minutes for this or 25 minutes for this. And once you've done it for 10 times, Instead of 25 minutes, let me see if I can do it for 20 minutes and still feel satisfied. And I'm gonna have a timer next to me and I can check in with my timer every now. Okay, I've got 12 minutes left. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So that's how you really manage yourself through time and, and repeated projects. If it's a new project, like I said, you don't know how long it'll take you. So you can't, don't beat yourself up. You just have to start writing down what the steps are for that project and time yourself for each step approximately and learn what the times are over time. So. I hope this helps.